Good morning, everyone. Buenos dias, amigos y amigas. My name is Kenny, and I work at San Mateo County Libraries. Mi nombre es Kenny, yo trabajo por las bibliotecas del condado de San Mateo. And thank you so much for joining me again for Music Playtime. Yeah! Gracias por venir a este, a este programa, a Tiempo de Juego Musical. Uh, and I, of course, I want to remind everyone watching that it is census time. So adults, if you're watching, and kids, please remind your adults that to fill out the census because it is very, very important that we all do this. And you can do it at my2020census.gov. Remember, it only takes like 10 minutes. Y quiero recordar a todos que uh, es hora del censo. Uh, so recuerde completar el censo porque es muy importante. Y lo puedes hacer a través de este website, my2020census.gov. Y toma como unos 10 minutos y lo puedes hacer en español aquí en este website. All right? So, if you have any instruments lying around the house, this is a great time to go grab them. I got my egg shaker today, and I got some drumsticks. And remember, you can make drumsticks out of anything. So you have some spoons, or maybe some forks, or some knives, right? And we can use anything to turn it into a drum. You know what makes a really good drum, actually? A couch or a pillow makes a really good drum. <laughs> Uh, and if you don't have any musical instruments, that's okay as well, because whenever we have our hands, we can always clap along. We have our voices to sing along. We can always get up and dance as well. So speaking of, we're going to be singing some songs today, and we're going to be dancing, and we're going to be playing music together. Remember, this program is about playing music together. We can play together, right? Like a band. And I'm going to be singing songs in English and in Spanish. So vamos a cantar, bailar y tocar música juntos. Y voy a cantar canciones en inglés y también en español. And for this first song, I think we need to start with the Itsy Bitsy Spider song. So we can take our hands like this and we can make some spiders like this or like this. Or like this, however you want. There's no wrong way to do this, right? So let's make some spiders, right? Here's my spider, and you can see my spider legs. And what we're gonna do is our spider is gonna go up the water spout like this. And then down comes the rain. We can make rain like this with our finger and washes the spider out. And then out comes the sun. So we can raise up our sun, make a big circle with our hands. And then dries up all the rain. And of course, our itsy bitsy spider gets to climb up the water spout again. All right. Are we ready? All right. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. The itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah! Nice job, nice job, excellent job, excellent spiders, beautiful spiders. Now, as you may know, I happen to know this song in Spanish as well. So, let's sing it in Spanish, right? So, vamos a cantar esta canción en español también. En español se llama La Araña Pequeñita. So, in Spanish, this song is called La Araña Pequeñita. The Itsy Bitsy Spider, right? And to make it a little bit more fun, why don't we sing it and play it a little bit faster? Right? Can we play a little bit faster? Shall we play a little bit faster? Lo podemos, lo podemos tocar un poquito más rápido. Yeah? I think so, right? Like this. All right. Are we ready? Are we, make, are we making music together? All right. 
Larañas pequeñitas subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo lo secó. La raña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Excellent job, everyone. Excellent job. Yeah. I like when we speed it up, right? Maybe we'll play a few more songs that are a little bit faster. So this next song, <clears throat> gonna need your help. So can you show me? Lift your hand. Con tus manos. Can you show me? What do the wheels on the bus do? I forgot. What do the wheels on the bus do? Go round and round, right? They go round and round. Puedes hacer esto con sus manos, just like this, right? They go round and round. Can we sing it? Are you ready? <clears throat> oh, wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Job, nice job, perfect wheels. If it were raining outside, we'd have to turn our windshield wipers on. And what do the wipers do? Can you show me with your hands? What do the wipers on the bus do? They go swish, 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 right? Swish, swish, swish. I'm gonna take my drumsticks. This is the perfect opportunity to use my drumsticks. They go swish, 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 right? Swish, swish, swish. Can we sing it together? Let's try. Are you ready? <clears throat> the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Now, what about the horn on the bus? When we press that horn, what sound does it make? What sound does that horn make? Does it go moo? No, 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 that's not what it does. Ah, I remember. The horn, it goes meow, meow, right? No? Okay, all right, does it go meow, meow? When you press the horn on the bus, it goes, Elefante. No, no, it doesn't say that either, huh? Uh, the horn on the bus, it goes beep, beep, beep. That's what it does. Thank you. Thank you for helping me out. That's what it says. Are you ready? The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the Town. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Now, what about the babies on the bus? It's maybe my favorite one. What do the babies on the bus do? They go, wah, 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 right? Can we all pretend we're babies? Adults as well. Can we all pretend we're babies like this? Wah, 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 wah. Can we try it? The babies on the bus go wah 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah 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 all through the town. Nice job, nice job. Now, what about the parents on the bus? The babies are crying. The parents there are there to comfort them, right? To make them feel better. So the parents are going shh shh shh, right? Shh, shh, shh. Now, do you think, do you think we could sing this very quietly? Can we sing this part of the song very, very quietly? Let's try it. Okay. Are you ready? The parents on the bus go shh, 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 sh
Nice job, nice job, whispering everyone. Whew. So let's do another song in Spanish. So vamos a cantar otra canción en español. Y esta canción se llama Un Elefante. This song is called Un Elefante. And what we're going to do is we're going to count to the number five. And of course, I'm going to need your help. So vamos a contar hasta el número cinco en esta canción. Y voy a necesitar tu ayuda. All right. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is, of course, we're going to start off with number one. And if you can imagine, if we can imagine, what we have here is we have a tiny, tiny spider web. And then we have an elephant that's trying to balance on the tiny, tiny spider web. And what's going to happen is we're going to, at some point in the song, we're going to have to call for another elephant to come join us, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to say the word elefante, just like that, right? And then our next elephant is going to come join us. And then we're going to have two elephants trying to balance on the tiny, tiny spider web. And then we're going to get to three and four and five, of course. All right. Are you ready? <clears throat> so the song goes like this. Un elefante se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que resistía, pero la llamar otro elefante. And so this is the part of the song where we need to call for the next elephant. So tenemos que llamar para el próximo elefante. Y lo tenemos que hacer juntos. We need to do this together, right? It's only going to work if we do it together. So on the count of three, let's all say the word elefante together. So on tres, vamos a decir la palabra elefante juntos. Are you ready? One, two, three. Elefante. Good job. Nice job. So now we have another elephant joining us. That means we have how many elephants? We have one and two, right? Así que tenemos otro elefante. ¿Y qué viene después del número uno? Uno, dos, right? Ya tenemos dos elefantes. Are you ready? <coughs> dos elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una araña. Como veía que desistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Nice job, nice job. I think for this one. So we need to call for the next one. But what if we try very, very quietly? Can we try to whisper this time? Let's see. Let's find out. Let's see if it'll work, right? On the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Elefante. It worked. Now, how many elephants do we have? What comes after the number two? Que viene después del número dos? We have one, two, three, right? Uno, dos, y tres. So ya tenemos tres elefantes. We have three elefantes. Are we ready? Tres elefantes se balanceaban sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Nice job, nice job. So now we need to call for the next elephant. The count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Elefante. Nice job, nice job. So now. What comes after the number three? ¿Qué sigue después del número tres? Have one, two, three, four, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. So ya tenemos cuatro elefantes. Now we have four elefantes all trying to balance on the spider web together. You ready? 
Cuatro elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de una raya. Como veía que resistía, pero a llamar otro elefante. All right, this is the last one. So let's make this one really good, really good. You ready? The count of three. We're gonna call for the last elephant. We're gonna do this as loud as we can. <laughs> Apologies in advance to the adults. As loud as we can. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Elefante. Whew, good job. Now we have our last elephant. And what comes after the number four? Que sigue después del número cuatro. Goes one, two, three, four, five, right? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. So ya tenemos cinco elefantes. Now we have five elefantes. Woo! Are you ready? <clears throat> Cinco elefantes se balanceaba sobre la tela de la raya. Como veía que resistía, fueron a llamar otro elefante. Yeah! <coughs> nice job, everyone. Good job, good job, good job. All right. <clears throat> so, for this next song, with your hand. Con sus manos. Can we clap two times? Can you show me how to clap two times like this? Podemos aplaudir dos veces like this. I see. Nice job, nice job. So this song is called If You're Happy, No. So are we ready? Are we ready for those claps? <clears throat> You're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and your face truly show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job, nice clapping, everyone. Good job, good job. <clears throat> now, with your hands, can you show me how to wave hello? Can we wave hello? We can use one hand, we can use both hands. Like this. Can you wave hello? Hello, how you doing? All right, let's try this one. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, wave hello. If you're happy and you know it, wave hello. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will truly show. But if you're happy and you know it, wave hello. Nice job, nice job. Now, what about? Can we all say the word hooray together? Can we all say hooray? Podemos decir la palabra hooray together? Can we try that? Let's try. <clears throat> if you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will truly show it. If you're happy and you know it, say hooray. Hooray! Good job, good job, good job, good job. Now, for the last one. If you can, let's all get up. Let's all get up, get up, get up. Stretch our arms, stretch our legs, move around, get loose. And let's just dance around. I like that, right? Let's dance around. What? better way to spend the morning than dancing around and having fun, right? So can we dance together? Can we dance around? <clears throat> Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, dance around. If you're happy and you know it, dance around. If you're happy and you know it, and your face will truly show it. If you're happy and you know it, dance around. Yeah! Good job dancing. Good job, everyone. Nice job, nice job. All right. This next song is also <clears throat> another counting song. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the song is called Finger Family. 
We're also going to count to the number five. So vamos a contar hasta el número cinco en esta canción también. Se llama Finger Family. And what we're going to do is we're going to start off with Mommy Finger. So we'll do this way. And what I want you to do is we're going to take our finger like this. And I want you to dance with it. I want you to make it dance up and down, side to side. Right? And as we're singing the song, I want that finger, that number one, to be dancing around like this. Are you ready? <clears throat> so it goes like this. Mommy's finger, mommy's finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Nice job, great job, great job. So now we're going to get, ooh, we're going to get a second finger. So now we're going to have two fingers. So but yeah, almost like dos dedos. Y los dedos van a estar bailando así. We're going to be dancing with our fingers like this. Can we try that? Are you ready? <clears throat> daddy finger, daddy finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Nice job, nice job. Now, of course, we're going to add one more finger. So now we're going to have three fingers. So yeah, vamos a tener tres dedos. Los deditos van a estar bailando así. Y ese dedito se llama brother finger. And mano. Right? Like this. Together. Are you ready? Brother finger, brother finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Now we're going to add one more finger. So now we're going to have four fingers. And our four fingers are going to be dancing like this, side to side. Nice, like that. Y vamos a tener cuatro dedos. Y los cuatro deditos van a estar bailando así, juntos. Are you ready? Sister finger, sister finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am. How do you do? Nice job, nice job. And now we're going to add one last final finger. It's going to be number five, right? Numero cinco. Ya vamos a tener cinco deditos bailando juntos. They're going to be dancing together, right? Like this. Are you ready? Let's try. <gasps> Baby finger, baby finger, where are you? Here I am, here I am, how do you do? Yay! Good job, everyone. Nice job, nice job dancing, nice job singing, nice job playing your instruments. I love it, I love it. We're making music together. This is really fun. <clears throat> So I have two songs left. And this song is also in Spanish. And it's called De Colores. So tenemos dos canciones más. Y esta canción se llama De Colores. And what this song is about, it's about all the different colors of the rainbow. And how wherever we go, whether we're inside or outside, we can always look around and see all the different colors of the rainbow always around us. Pretty amazing, right? My drumstick, blue one. I have a red one. My yellow egg shaker, right? Always around us. Are we ready? <clears throat> this is a great song. Speaking of, this is a great song to use our instruments on, right? Are you ready? Estamos listos? <clears throat> De colores, de colores se visten los campos en la primavera. De colores, de colores son los pajaritos que vienen afuera. De colores, de colores es arco iris que vemos lucir. 
por esto los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por esto los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Canta el gallo, canta el gallo con el kiri, 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 kiri. La gallina, la gallina con el cara, cara, cara y cara. Los polluelos, los polluelos con el tío, tío, tío y tío. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Y por eso los grandes amores de muchos colores me gustan a mí. Yeah! Nice job, nice job, great job, everyone. Whew. That's a good one. I like that one. So we have time for one last song. And we're gonna make it a good one. So if you can, let's all stand up for this one as well. Let's all get up, get up, get up. And we're gonna dance the hokey pokey. Yeah, the hokey pokey. And if you've never danced the hokey pokey, I'll help you out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our right hand. So con sus manos derechas. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our right hands in like this. And then we're going to take our right hands out. And then we're going to put our right hands back in like this. And then we're going to shake it all about. And then we're going to do the hokey pokey, which is we're going to spin around in a circle. And that's what it's all about. Right? Think we can do it? Let's try it. <clears throat> you put your right hand in. You put your right hand out, you put your right hand in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Nice job, nice job. So now we're gonna put our left hand, so sus manos izquierda. We're gonna put our left hands in. But do you think? Do you think we can go faster? Piensas que lo podemos cantar un poquito más rápido. I think so too. I think so too. Let's try it. Are you ready? You put your left hand in, you put your left hand out, you put your left hand in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Nice job, nice job, nice job. So now we're going to put our right feet in. Your right foot. Where's your right foot? The right foot. So el pie derecho. And do you think we can go faster? I think we can go faster. Are you ready? <clears throat> you put your right foot in, you put your right foot out, you put your right foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Nice job, nice job. And how about our left foot, our left foot, the one over here, el pie izquierdo. Do you think we can go super fast? Lo podemos cantar más, más, más rápido. Only one way to find out, I suppose. Are you ready? <clears throat> Put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left foot in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Yeah! Yeah! Good job, good job, everyone. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me. Muchas gracias a todos por pasar este tiempo conmigo. Uh, and you're in such luck today. We have a full day of programs for you to enjoy. Uh, first, my friend Angela will be coming up in just a couple of minutes to host her preschool story time at 11 a.m. And then later on today, we have an English conversation club at 2 p.m. that you must register in advance on our website. And then we have a Mandarin and English story time at 3 p.m. followed by a brand new yoga story time at 3.30. And then to top it off, we have an afternoon doodling program at 4 p.m. 
So tenemos cinco programas más hoy día, incluyendo un tiempo de cuentos que uh, comienza en unos minutos, un club de conversación en inglés a las dos, y tienes que registrar uh, sobre nuestra website para este programa. Y tenemos un programa nuevo de yoga a las tres y media. And remember, you can go on our website here, smcl.org, for the full schedule and to register. Puedes uh, visitar nuestra website, smcl, para, nuestra, uh, para ver nuestro calendario y para registrar para este programa. All right? Thank you so much, everyone. Have a wonderful day. morning. I'm Angela and I'm here to do preschool story time. Kenny was great. Did, did you see that? Oh my goodness. I'm still singing the hokey pokey and my, my body's still moving. But uh, we're going to do preschool story time now. And um, just to remind you, um, this is I'm with the San Mateo County Library System. And you can get to our website at this address, smcl.org. And we have lots of stuff on there that you can access while our libraries are closed. Um, today I'll be reading ebooks to you that you can get on our uh, Overdrive platform. You can also get uh, stream movies, you can get uh, music, um, you can listen to books on our website. And there's also programs like this one and um, Kenny's uh, music program. All right, so let's get started with our preschool story time. Can you show me your fingers? Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in the air. Wiggle them, wiggle them, mess them in your hair. Wiggle them, wiggle them, give a little clap. Wiggle them, wiggle them, put them in your lap. All right, good job. I am going to share my screen with you because that's how you can see the book that I'll be reading. And our first book is called Brave Enough for Two. This is by Jonathan D. Voss, read with permission from Henry Holt and Company. Brave enough for two. Let's take a minute just to look at the cover. Sometimes we just start opening the book right away, but let's look at the cover and what do we see here? Let's see, there's a, it looks like a girl and she's pulling a wagon. And in the wagon, what is this here? That's her stuffy, and the stuffy has a balloon, right? It looks like they're going for a walk. Let's see what happens in this story. There's the inside of the book, and the front cover, and here's the title page. Hoot was all a very best friend in the whole wide world. But as you know, best friends don't always like the same things. Take, for example, adventures. Olive preferred the kind found in books. You can see here the reading. Hoot, on the other hand, well, he preferred something a little different. So this is Olive, and here is Hoot. Oh, it looks like Hoot's an owl. One day, Hoot said, I've made something special for you but it could be a small bit scary and a slightly bigger bit adventurous. You know I don't like adventure, said Olive. I'm not brave like you. Don't worry, said Hoot. I will be brave enough for both of us. So there's a house they were in and they're walking away from it. It's very nice, said Olive. Does it go high? What do you see here? There's a basket and a bunch of balloons. A little, said Hoot, climbing into the basket, but not too high. Ala followed after. Ooh, they're going up in the air now. Up they rose over rooftops and treetops till the ground looked like a giant patchwork quilt passing beneath them. There's the fields. What do you think, asked Hoot. I think this, this is what it's like to be a cloud, said Olive. 
but we've gone way more than a little high. Just then a drop of water landed on her nose. Uh -oh. The clouds darkened and thunder cracked with a flash of light. Giant drops poured from the sky. The wind swirled, the basket rocked. What if the wind blows us far away and we get lost, cried Olive. Boots squeezed her hand. We can never be lost, he said. As long as I'm here and you're there and here and there aren't very far apart. Does it look kind of scary? I think Olive's a little scared. All of a sudden, the sun poked through the clouds. The wind calmed. Look, said Hoot, a rainbow. Olive smiled. You see the rainbow? See the rainbow here? And some of the colors are the same ones as in these balloons, right? Have you ever seen a rainbow outside after it's rained? They're pretty. Hoot untied the balloons one by one. Lower and lower the basket dropped till it scraped the ground and toppled over. The pair rolled out head over bottom into a patch of grass. We made it, said Olive in a surprise sort of way. What should we do now? Of course we made it, said Hoot. And now I have another idea. So here they are tumbling out of the basket. Oh, upside down. Hoot pushed the basket into a nearby river. I've never been in a boat before, said Olive. Then it will be the first time for both of us, said Hoot. Will we go fast, asked Olive. Maybe just a little, said Hoot, tying a flag to their new ship's mast. All right, now it's a boat. The boat bobbed and spun like a carnival ride. What do you think, asked Hoot. I think we are going faster than just a little, said Olive. Down the river they sped till it became a bubbling cauldron of rocks and waves. We're going way too fast, cried Olive. Hoot paddled with all his might. Don't be afraid, he said. I'll keep you safe. Uh-oh, can you see that looks like the basket might be coming apart. And here, what is this? The mast fell off. Oh, no. And he did. Oh, he kept them safe. They're, they're on shore now. But on shore, Hoot stood silent. What's the matter, asked Olive. Hoot picked up a piece of his stuffing. I'm not feeling all that well. Uh-oh. So here he's holding his, his stuffing, and it looks like there's a little hole in his behind there. Olive paused, but only for a moment. Then she said, don't worry, Hoot. I'll lead the way home. I will be brave enough for both of us. Hoot followed her every step. It will be dark soon, he said. If it gets dark, we might get lost. Hoot, said Olive in a kind way. So long as I'm here and you're there, and here and there aren't very far apart, we can never be lost. Oh, that's nice. Now she's holding his hand. Just as the sun began to set, a familiar sight appeared. Home, said Olive and Hoot together. You see the house here? There's their house. Yay, they weren't lost after all. That night, Hoot got a patch. For bravery, said Olive, and tomorrow, how about I choose the adventure? Hoot smiled. I was afraid today, he said, when my stuffing came out, but you were brave and you kept me safe. Don't ever be afraid, Olive whispered. I'll always keep you safe. In bed now, she's reading. And she did. All right, now they're sleeping. Well, that's so nice. The friends, they take care of each other. And there's the inside of the back of the book. And there's the back cover. And it says, it's time for a grand adventure with Olive and her very best friend, Hoot. 
I like that story. It's nice to have friends, isn't it? I'm sure you have lots of friends. So I have a um, song now about friends. Okay. And this is the way it goes. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends today. All right, so this song is about things that you can do with friends. So one of the things you can do with friends is sing, right? Like we're doing right now. Okay, so can we uh, sing that part? You can sing with a friend. And how do you sing? You go, la, la, la. You can sing with a friend, la, la, la. You can sing with a friend, la, la, la. Let's be friends today. How about shouting? Can you shout with a friend? Sure you can. You can shout with a friend, hello. You can shout with a friend, hey. You can shout with a friend, Hi, let's be friends today. How about humming? Do you know how to hum? You just close your mouth and then you make sounds like, mm. can you do that? You can hum with a friend. Mm. You can hum with a friend. Mm. You can hum with a friend. Mm. Let's be friends today. All right, how about clapping? Can you clap with a friend? Yeah, let's do that together. You can clap with a friend. You can clap with a friend. You can clap with a friend. Let's be friends today. How about jumping? Right, I'm not gonna get up because then you won't be able to see me, but you can get up and you can jump, right? We can jump together. You can jump. With a friend, you can jump with a friend. You can jump with a friend. Let's be friends today. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends with one another. Let's be friends today. I'm happy to be your friend. All right, that was a great song. Now, I'm gonna share our second book. Let's do that. Okay, let's see, what's it gonna be? This one is called Over in the Ocean in a Coral Reef. This is by Marianne Burks, illustrated by Jeanette Canyon. And illustrated means that Jeanette Canyon did the pictures. Look how colorful this is. Isn't it so colorful? And this is read with permission from Dawn Publications. What do you see on this, on the cover here? Do you know what this is? It lives in the ocean because the book is called Over in the Ocean. It's a seahorse. And this is actually a daddy seahorse because daddy seahorses are the ones that carry the babies. And here are all the little babies coming out. All right, let's start reading this. Over in the ocean. There's a puffer fish. This is the title page. Over in the ocean, far away from the sun, lived a mother octopus and her octopus one. Squirt, said the mother. I squirt, said the one. So they squirted in the reef far away from the sun. So here you see, this is a mommy octopus. And do you know what these are called that the octopus has that helps her uh, stick to stuff is the suckers. And there's the baby octopus, and here's the ink. Over in the ocean where the sea grasses grew, lived a mother parrotfish and her parrotfish too. Grind, said the mother. We grind, said the two. So they ground on the coral where the sea grasses grew. So do you see, see the sea grasses here? Yeah, and there's the mommy parrotfish, and here are the babies, and let's, let's count them. Let's make sure there are two. So here's the number two over here in the sand. One, two. Good job. Over in the ocean in a sea anemone lived an old mother clownfish and her little clownfish three. 
darts at the mother, we darts at the three. So they darted all around in the sea anemone. Do you see what this is? This is a sea anemone. It's a plant that grows in the ocean. And then here's the um, clownfish, the mommy clownfish. And let's count the babies. Let's make sure there are three, like it says in the sand here. One, two, three. There are three. Over in the ocean on a sandy sea floor lived an old mother stingray and her little stingrays four. Stir, said the mother. We stir, said the four. So they stirred with their fins on a sandy sea floor. All right, so the, there's the number four here. And here's the mommy. Let's count the babies. One, two, three, four. Over in the ocean where the scuba divers dive lived an old mother puffer and her puffer fish five. Puff, said the mother. We puff, said the five. So they puffed in and out where the scuba divers dive. All right, so what number do we have in the sand here? Five, right? Where's the mommy? Here's the mommy. Here's the babies. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Over in the ocean doing somersault tricks lived an old mother dolphin and her little dolphin six. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the six. So they jumped and they played doing somersault tricks. Here's the number six in the sand. Where's the mommy? Here's the mommy. Let's count the babies. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six baby dolphins. Over in the ocean in their sea fan heaven lived a mother angel fish and her little angel seven. Graze, said the mother. We graze, said the seven. So they lays and they graze in their sea fan heaven. Here's the number seven. And where is the mommy angelfish? Right there. Oh, and she looks a little different than the babies. She has some yellow in her, right? All right, let's count the babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And these are the sea fans. They're also a plant like the anemone. Over in the ocean, very streamlined and straight, lived a mother needlefish and her needlefish eight. Skitter, said the mother. We skitter, said the eight. So they skittered through the water, very streamlined and straight. Here's the number eight. And here is the mommy needlefish. Let's count the babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over in the ocean, drifting in a yellow line, lived an old mother grunfish and her little grunts nine. Grunt, said the mother. We grunt, said the nine. So they grunted and they kissed, drifting in a yellow line. There's a number. Do you know what number this is? Nine. And here's a mommy grunt fish. And it does look like a line with these fish swimming all together, right? Let's count the babies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, nine's a big number. Over in the ocean in the turtle grass den, lived an old father seahorse and his seahorses 10. Flutter, said the father, we flutter, said the 10. So they fluttered all around in their turtle grass den. This is turtle grass. And here's a daddy like we saw on the cover, remember? We're gonna count the babies, here we go. Oh, I forgot to point out, here's the number 10 in the sand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and where's the 10th one? Oh, he's way up here, you can only see his tail. 10, there are 10 babies. Over in the ocean where the sea creatures play while their parents 
all were resting, they up and swam away. Find us, said the children, from 10 to 1. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. All right, do you see all those babies there swimming around? And then we have the numbers over here. Let's count them backwards, okay? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good job counting. And there's some information inside the book and some information about the coral reef and the animals. And there's the author and the person who uh, made the pictures. And that's the back of the book. So we're done. The end. Isn't that fun? It's so colorful too. All right, so now I have a fishy song for you guys. This is called Colored Fish. And I'm gonna move over just a little because I need my flannel, my mini flannel board for this. You guys ready for this song? There are so many fishes in the deep blue sea. What color fishy do you see? What color is that fish? Red, 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 this one's red. This little fishy is red. There are so many fishes in the deep blue sea. What color fishy do you see? What color is that fish? Yellow, yellow, yellow. This one's yellow. This little fishy is yellow. There are so many fishes in the deep blue sea. What color fishy do you see? What color is that one? Can you see? Purple. Purple, purple, this one's purple. This little fishy is purple. There are so many fishes in the deep blue sea. What color fishy do you see? What color is that one? It's blue, it's kind of like my shirt, right? Blue, 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 this one's blue. This little fishy is blue. There are so many fishes in the deep blue sea. What color fishy do you see? What color is that one? It's a big fish. Green, green, green. This one's green. This little fishy is green. All right, good job with your colors. Now we're going to count them. You know how many fishes are here? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. There are five fishies. All right, we're going to put this away because we have one more book. One more book I want to read to you. All right, this one's called Nap Pastrophe, and this is by Jared J. Krasowska. Let's see what we see on this cover. Look at this face. <laughs> this is a rabbit. And what kind of face is that? Is that a happy face? That does not look happy to me. Maybe a little mad or frustrated. This book is read with permission from Random House. That's the inside of the book. Uh-oh, it's saying that it's not loading. What's going on? Let's... Ah, we had to refresh. So there is a rabbit spinning around, running and jumping. And who's this over here? Looks like that might be Daddy Rabbit. Daddy Rabbit is running after the little girl rabbit. Okay, here, here it goes. It seemed that nobody listened to Lucy and she said, I'm not tired. So what do we see here? It looks like maybe this is um, a big sister, a big brother, and maybe that's mom. Mom's looking at her watch. Maybe they're going to soccer practice. That, that's what it kind of looks like. She's got the soccer ball. So she found herself in her room with the lights off during the daytime. There must have been a mistake. She yelled, I'm not tired. But nothing. Nobody's paying attention to her. Lucy thought of all the fun she was missing. She could be playing with her toys. Her toys probably missed her. 
But what if they didn't? What if they were having a dance party without her? Oh no, she's just thinking about all the fun that her toys are having while well, she's supposed to be sleeping. After an eternity, Lucy's bedroom door opened. I'm not tired, she said proudly. Where's dad? She hadn't slept, but now it was too late for nap time. She and her daddy needed to run errands. See, told you I wasn't tired. So they're in the car now because they have to go and run errands. Where did they go? Oh, it looks like they went to the grocery store. And look, what, what does Lucy have in her hand? It's a banana. She's playing. She called her daddy on the banana. Not tired, she said, but he didn't answer his phone. Down here, she's saying, still not tired, Lucy shouted moments later. And over here, not tired, not tired, not tired, not tired, not tired. Dad looks like he's tired of hearing, not tired. <laughs> Look, exclaimed Lucy, candy. I love candy. You guys like candy? Mm-hmm, I like candy too. We're not getting candy today, sweetheart, said her daddy. We'll just get a few, said Lucy. I said no, her daddy reminded her. Then it hit her. The lights, the noise, her knees wobbled, her eyes drooped. Lucy could not hold it in any longer. There are her knees wobbling. It was a catastrophe. Oh no, Wes is crying. Her arms flapped. Her fists locked. She got stuck to the floor. There she is stuck to the floor and her shoes are off. And one sock. It was time to go. They had to leave. She was just not happy and she's just crying and crying. At dinner, Lucy heard the word bedtime. She interrupted the grown up talk to say, I'm not tired. Just before. Splat! Oh no, what happened? She's, her face is right in this in her dinner and she's saying Z, 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 which means she's snoring, right? Can you guys snore? Good night, Lucy. <laughs> she's getting carried up to bed. All right. She finally did fall asleep. But on the back of the book, it says, I said I'm not tired. That's what she said earlier, right? Was that a fun book? Have you ever fallen asleep in your dinner before? I've never done that, <laughs> but I've been really tired. Okay, so since that book was about sleeping, I have a song about sleeping, and this is about a bear sleeping, okay? It's not about a rabbit. I couldn't find a song about a rabbit, but here I have my bear. And this is the way the song goes. Bear is sleeping, bear is sleeping in his cave, in his cave. Wonder when he'll wake up, wonder when he'll wake up in the spring, in the spring. All right, in the springtime right now, right? Okay, time to wake up, time to wake up, sleepy bear, sleepy bear. It is springtime, it is springtime, wake up now. Wake up now. All right, let's see. Can we wake up, Bear? Wake up, Bear, wake up. Let's see. Oh, Bear's getting out. He's coming out of his cave and he's stretching. Oh, Bear's awake now. Okay, that was a fun song. Thank you for um, sharing that with me. So now we're going to sing our closing song. We're going to open our hands. Open and shut. And open and shut them. Raise your hands up high, high, high. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Time to say goodbye, bye, bye. But before we really say goodbye, I just want to remind you of the programs that are coming up uh, later. We have uh, Minnie E doing bilingual story time at 3 p.m. She's going to be doing story time in Mandarin and English. And then we have a new a program, a yoga story time with Rachel. So you get to um, 
practice some of your yoga moves. And then at four, we have doodling with Lynn. If you like to draw, make sure you tune into that, okay? And then I'm Angela to remind you, and uh, this was Preschool Storytime. I will be back on Tuesday at 11. All right, see you then. Bye-bye.